Holy shit! Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh, oh yeah, you're blind right now. <laughs> I'm yeah. talking to Cameron. I had to put on my glasses. My glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Don't worry, this is October 18th. 10 a.m. in the district. Oh, oh, we're ready? Okay, cool. We didn't even get to start in the lobby. Awesome. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgewood. Edgeworth. <laughs> it's Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm edging his name. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Mm. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Yay, your boy! How your hair doing, well? Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yeah, yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? Yep. This here is the employee area. Okay. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. That's where that old bitch is. <laughs> this old bitch that works at the studio was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Okay. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. What do you think the V stands for? Victim. <laughs> then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went into Studio One. Right after that, at 1 o'clock p.m., the bitch had got to the guard station. <laughs> now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, that's probably it. <laughs> the time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Skip. <laughs> I think I probably can remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. This spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the bitch at the guard station see? <laughs> Not the... Damn. Understood. Let's call this bitch to the stand. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> Will the bitch declare her name? <laughs> Come on, man. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> you God. <laughs> yeah. uh, your, your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be so embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> I do not have that kink, you old bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's a gilf. <laughs> your name, please. Seems Edward is a bit troubled having his witness say their own name. Wendy Old Bag Deary. Just as long as you call me Grandma for our name, when I was young, the Old Bag Deary, and my no other children make fun of me, and can you believe it? There are some of the boys, the captain, and the chest, and call me Old Bag, and I cried to see them. Objection! <laughs> uh, object I, I object to the witness's talkativeness. <laughs> Objection sustained. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Damn! The witness. The bitch will refrain from <gasps> rambling on the stand. Why are you gonna be so mean to her? I was just getting to the good part, dearie! Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Yeah, yeah, fuck you, I got it. <laughs> now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? You see, I was. 
And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie! You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Yeah, I love how she's being nice to Edgeworth and the judge, but to uh, us she calls us pathetic. Yeah. And a bitch. <laughs> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Objection! <laughs> Poor old Hammer and the rest were doing a run through there since this morning. I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, I, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate till 5 p.m. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting me because a certain person walked by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, the man right there. He was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Mm hmm. Very well. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sums up the case. And they're just, and Phoenix is like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> That's basically what happened in the, in yeah, the last Yeah, like, one. You're like, well, I guess we don't need it for a testimony. And then we'll <laughs> slam that gavel shut. <laughs> Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I'm gonna do so well. I mean, Cameron's gonna do so well, because he's playing. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station. I walked okay, cool! <laughs> so, up until that time, anyone could go through that studio? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gates, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You needed an employee key card to get in. Right, the car key that I have. So, what was she... So, so what she's saying is that no one that's, who wasn't supposed to be there can get in. So, like, no outsiders. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rats were doing a run-through there this morning. I mean, that is true. I mean, we've seen that fact repeated. I'm gonna take a little- I got some Starbucks. They didn't have- they ran out of lavender. They don't have lavender anymore, is that a season? <laughs> a run-through? They were working through a scene between the Seal Samurai and the Evil Magistry. They got the basic figured out by noon and they were used the afternoon for practice. Rehearsals are supposed to start at 5 p.m. That's why poor Hammer went to the Studio One that afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing? Talk about a layback hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there after noon? Hmm. Oh, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Did you murder him? <laughs> what kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching Paul Hammer and Powers, observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? And I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I was watching Hammer's run-throughs always. Never missed them all my years. Wow, I want to see a steel samurai get run through too. You said that as I was drinking. You almost made me do a fucking spit take. <laughs> you could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. But Maya. <laughs> anyway, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor Hammond? Nope. He already gone to the studio before I got to the guard station. Oh shit, that's you. My bad. <laughs> You're <Sorry>. yawning. <laughs> I was yawning. This this old bag is making me tired. I'm sorry. Literally old bag. <gasps> Tell us what happened next. Uh, I was at the main gate from and then until nine. That's five. Shit. <laughs> you were watching it the whole time, no breaks, not even a second? Uh, of course I was! I'm a professional, you know- How are you gonna say you're professional and then, and then goofed off? <laughs> or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eat those donuts in the car station yesterday. <laughs> I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. Whippersnapper? That's Snipper Whipper. Snipper Whipper? Old 
windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you kill her? Oh, why don't you raise an objection? Wait, why did Phoenix say, why don't you raise an objection? Yeah, it, well... <laughs> it, she was saying, like, why don't, why don't Maya, if Maya has a problem with it, why uh -oh. don't she do it? <laughs> why don't you be a lawyer, Maya? <laughs> so the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? That's what the autopsy report said. How do you know that? Oh, oh, oh I've had my ways, that overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Damn, that gumshoe! Poor detective gumshoe getting her handed out by the security guard. He's gonna get another pay deduction. <laughs> Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. Wait, wait. What's the next one? Doesn't she say like it was him? Then we. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why I was I was checking that out because. Two o'clock. You're sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to be so excited for your rage. You might strain yourself. Wow, she called. I'm straining my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't get you. Skivvies. Skivvies, all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Objection! No. uh <laughs> Objection! Yay! <laughs> Let me get this straight, old bag. Um, I mean, uh, Miss Old Bag. You said- You've been saying this yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about this man in the photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. I don't know, you see him like put on his glasses. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> what, what the hell is this? <laughs> Not other than the Seal Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Oldbag. Is this the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone could plainly see that's Powers, right? No, no, they can't. Oh, even Edris is like, oh, the um, fuck? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Uh, I don't like that mouth. Will she do it again? No, please don't. <laughs> please do it again, just to make Phoenix upset. Uh... Ah, she won't. Ah, I know that, I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss Er, uh, uh, bitch. <laughs> He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Oh, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? H huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. <laughs> the, the prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. Yeah, what the fuck does she have? How do I know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. <laughs> wow, a whole windbag just left even Edward speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof, then. Alright, what- the man in the photo! I never said that I- I never said anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action sequence, I saw Powers trip and fall! He broke one of the props, it was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at the picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers, happy? Hmm, so he had a sprained... He... Oh, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Can you do me a favor? Because I noticed this when, uh, when I was reviewing the first episode. Can you press the... Oh, wait, it doesn't show it anymore. I was gonna say pull up the court record, but I guess you can't do that here. What? I mean, like, you can pull up present, but I... 
I noticed in the first one we got to pull up profiles and whatnot. So I was seeing next time we get like that open. Can you see if you can press the court record and see if we can see the profiles of people? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Whip a snapper! Hey, I didn't even say anything yet. I'll have you know that I'm not putting fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I said is straight and narrow. It's up and up. You young today, whining about each other, point the finger over that and make an old man cry. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the <laughs> I think Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> the morning during the run through the action sequence. <laughs> Do you really want to press that? Who was present during the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he was the Steel Samurai, and then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Watching. <laughs> observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Yeah, what the fuck did she do? Oh, she was off moving back props, such a rat to mouth, moving shit. <laughs> so she didn't see the run through then. I saw Power strip and fall. Trip in fall? Yes! And to think he's supposed to be the seal samurai, what a laugh! So pa- oh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt- oh. <laughs> let, let, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her, she was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. What prop did he fucking break? He broke a prop? Sure did! His own samurai spear! His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it! Is that what she did to the ankle? She kissed it and then was like... <laughs> just wrapped it? It strikes me as a significant detail. Oh! Okay, that's all the profiles in the game. Well, it's ones that we've seen. So we can look at everyone. Scrubby the prosecutor with a ruthless man that can do anything for a gift. He's 24?! He looks pretty good for 24. Little, me as a little sister currently trying to be a spirit medium. What does Gumshoe say? Detective at the local precinct in charge of initial investigations. He's 30? He looks rough for 30. <laughs> Yo, this dude's 23. Yeah. Well, he's the Wolverine. Leave him alone. <laughs> The defendant actor star who plays the title of the Steel Samurai TV show. Security age is unknown! Security lady local at the Global Studios claims she saw Powers heading up the scene. The victim, a former big name action star, played the role of the evil magistrate. He's 37. 37. Damn. Penny Nicholas, assistant at Global Studios, in charge of large props and set- She's 18! She why, why does it say assistant when it says all of their names above? Why doesn't it just say. Yeah, her name is, yeah, Penny. Why, did, why doesn't it switch that and say Penny Nichols at the top and say she's the assistant? I have no idea. Maybe it's an error, I don't know. Like, like, it literally even says ass assistant, it says assistant at Global Studios. I don't know. Um, no, I just really, I don't think in the, like, when you play this game on the DS for the first time, I don't think you get profiles until, like, the second game, so I'm, I'm glad they added this in for, like, the revamp of this game. Yeah. That strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Murder weapon, a break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. I guess that's where it is at the top. Yeah. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sp <laughs> sprained? Not bad as he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room and rest up after lunch. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragged his foot, okay. Was he doing that today? I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? What, what do you mean? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Uh... uh hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. What do you mean you couldn't hmm. find it? Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure that you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there! We keep take talking possibilities, but we need to agree that this photo shows the Seal Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can you see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. 
The defense has a point. Yeah, no shit. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Yeah, so- Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tisk, 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 tisk. <laughs> then allow me to remove your- the doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? What? No need to ask twice. Yeah, she fucking knew anything for Edgeworth. When is this account continued? The time the time of poor Hammers' death was 2.30 p.m. Drew. The only person I saw go to the studio before that was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. That's, that's your whole testimony? There's no shot. <laughs> hmm. So if no one else went to the studio... And it would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. You're telling me the steel samurai <laughs> went to the, the studio? Yeah. That's crazy. The time of the poor hammer's death was 2.30, crew. 2.30, yeah. yeah. Okay, my... He's dragging one leg. Yeah. Okay. You really want to press it? Okay, fine. How do you know that? And yeah, didn't G.I. just explain? I gave donuts to that young detective. I like how she's calling me young for 30. And then, after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe sharing his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. <laughs> the only person I saw go to the studio before that was Will Powers. I mean... Like, this, like, this still doesn't show us. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I don't think objecting to that's gonna do anything. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sunny. No one suspicious looking passed by at all. No one suspicious looking? Great. No one else went there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I do kind of feel like presenting this because this is this. It's says second photo, and it takes a picture anytime someone passes by. So who the fuck is this other person? I kind of want to present. Yeah, I think it would work. Yeah, look at you! Hold on! Look at this photograph! Every time I look at it makes it anyway. One more time, please! This photo was taken by the camera at the gate of the studios, correct? Yes, sir, sonny! So, whenever someone passes by there, automatically takes a picture? And there I thought you didn't have a head in that hole in the ground! Right, anyway... Bitch. <laughs> It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know what- You know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that the back of the photo printed the words October 15th, 2pm, photo number 2. Him and I know what that means. It was taken at 2pm on October 15th. Really, Sunny. Anyway, actually, I knew that, too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held down of the one photo that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if there was- if it was its only photo? You got tight ass. <laughs> Flat! <laughs> order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's why I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not only one, but two people went to that studio t that day. Yeah, there's only one data with- There's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh. You mean, watch your mouth, what's a snapper? The only person I saw go to that day- on that day was Will Powers. But the camera and the gate fired twice. That means two people walked by. Um, well, yes, that's what it seems to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, um, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, believe me, I, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm, sounds some help you are, you are whippersnapper too. Whip a snapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, uh, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Um. Uh, well, yes, I suppose if you put it that way. <laughs> 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 
hiding evidence from this courtroom right now. <laughs> I see. Your testimony, please. I thought you were just like being like, oh my god, this bitch, and I didn't realize the judge was also being like... <laughs> Every day after I finish my god duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded at the, com the security computer and check on them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now that I remember throwing out one photo that day. Why would you throw out any photos that day? M M Miss Oldpeg, th this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. R right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination on this bitch. <clears throat> well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Oh my god, my, even Maya's done with this shit. <laughs> The other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, there's one other job for me to do. What is the other job? Other job? <laughs> That's right, I check all the, pe the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every single photo that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, th they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are so frustrating. Just get Cameron to do it, it's fine. <laughs> I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, okay. you can tell just by looking at their faces for the most part. But for the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Olbeg. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. <laughs> Can not think of it, now that I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who the heck was this person you erased? Huh, a fanboy. F fanboy? See how samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about rehearsals for gosh no where. They always hang about. One was there the other day. What? Wait a second. Didn't you say no one else could get in? I locked the main gates, no one can get in. Those are your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. That gate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? What, they're like Ninja Turtles? <laughs> I told you, they are freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo you erased? It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? <laughs> or order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai, dragging his leg. The other was a boy, who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop them, can't catch them. A boy in second or third grade, hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the Samurai Spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, uh, Nick, what's going on? Uh, me too, my I, I mean, know. the boy was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Also, isn't that a witness? <laughs> Edgeworth is gonna come up to us and be like, what the bro, fuck? Uh, bro, what the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> Why did you invite her? <laughs> Mr. Powers? Y yeah Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio, I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? Do you think it was two kids stacked on top of each other? <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah, they were like using the spear to like balance themselves. Yeah. Yeah. How, how should I know? Oh, that's- oh. <laughs> You got a higher pitch voice. The Steel Samurai! <laughs> Man, the, I didn't the, know. St the Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. I love that the Wolverine got higher pitched. <laughs> what? You should take better care of that stuff. 
I, I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. Yeah. So, where does this leave me? Doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? I don't know, fucking cry about it, Mia? I don't know. First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that they could probably convenient who conceivably. could conceivably have done this. Thanks. Right. <laughs> and it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, they might we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Man, that was a fucking quick five minute recess. All right, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sound like that. <laughs> it's only our third case! <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. Oh, I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? Mm. The defense degree disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Are we blaming the assistant? Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However... Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Uh oh. Right. Great. As if the stakes aren't high enough. So who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the, the murder? Oh gosh. So based off of the evidence that we have... Who do you think would be more likely to kill her? Like, kill the uh, hammer. Okay, so the security lady kind of has more of an alibi because she was looking she was looking at the cameras and the cameras would have recorded her going no, by. But she could have deleted them. Yeah, maybe she w I mean, there's no evidence of what that first photo was. She could be making that up about a school grader. Yeah, but there's also... The assistant girl, I feel like, has to play in here somehow. Mm. Because, like... She was technically the only person that was accounted for, and if you think about it... You don't... You, you won't get seen, like, passing the gate if you never leave that area. Yeah, also, I mean... Wait, pull up the court record? Look at the photo? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> this one? Yeah. It says that he's dragging his leg, but Penny wasn't there when they when Powers had an accident, so she would have not have known that that her like he's dragging his leg because he's hurt. Hang on, let me check. Okay, so th this this is the one that's duct taped. Yeah, was what I wanted to check. Because I think it's broken at the top, so like the spear, the duct tape, that little brown little part, and then the spear part. So I, I, I think you might be right that the security lady might be more... Because doesn't she fucking hate powers? And she loved Hammer? Yeah. But, wait, but how would that make sense? I don't because... know. I mean, obviously a gray boy. These ten. Yeah, so... It's, a ten-year-old there's, there's, cannot there's be no, able to fucking... This doesn't, this doesn't make... Because they said obviously. Yeah. The only person that hasn't been accounted for, in my opinion, is the assistant girl. Because the security lady says she really likes Jack Hammer, so she wouldn't have a... Maybe she accidentally murdered him, and to not feel like a blame for it, she blames the guy that she hates. Yeah. But at the same time, the assistant girl really likes Powers, but then why would she try and set yeah, him up for it? Yeah, she was like, please, please help him. WP was real nice. <laughs> Go with whatever your gut is telling you. Oh, gosh. You only get penalized twice. <laughs> uh, well, I feel like... I feel like this buys us more time, though. Okay. It was the assistant. The seal... Si this, yeah, the seal samurai costume was in his dressing room. 
She stole it and is doing it so she becomes the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Uh oh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? Powers the Powers and Poor Hammer were doing their run through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her, she was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Yeah, that's true. The assistant knew nothing of Power Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the Steel Samurai look with the costume. But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ah. That kind of takes the legs out from under the case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Yeah, that's fine. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. May we move on, Mr. Wright? Not as funny as it's over yet. Your Honor, uh, can I get one more chance, please? Very well, go ahead. Who's the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The assistant girl. <laughs> you can guess again if you want. It was a security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Wahoo! The seal samurai was dragging his leg in this photo. That means whoever was in the photo knew about this morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action sequence run through. There was only one person other than the powers and hammer who knew about this injury. Bad. The security lady old bag. Man, I, I like I understand their point with all of that. But when uh when I think of cause they don't directly say that like like uh because they have backdrops that are in Studio One. Yeah. So even though they say like, oh, she couldn't have known, she could have still been in the area. Mm -hmm. And and like I, I get what they mean, but at the same time, how would it logically make sense that they like made the points of, oh, you know, she like really likes Jack Hammer. She's like, she's like a big fan of his. And we're having to accuse her. Like, obviously, she's probably not the one who did it. Yeah. But... We were trying to buy time, but, I mean, with the evidence and motives and shit, she's the one that fits the class for it. But at the same time, the, the assistant never said anything about Jack. She, like, didn't care. She's, <laughs> she's, she's like, she's like just, just help out. Just help out Mr. Powers. Yeah. What? Whip a snapper? <laughs> I'm just voting that my first initial guess I don't think was fully wrong. Yeah. I think I think it leads too ambiguous. Yeah. But I can I can understand. Yeah. Order, order. Is this true, old bag? Old bag, it's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to seal the steel samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew about the camera at the gate that would take her photo. If she were in costume, she can point the photo at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection with some kind of new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Uh, wh what? What is it? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, all you do, all you th all think I did it. Is that it, Edgy boy? Don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole thing. Give Granny a break. <laughs> I kind of like that. Up. I feel like if I press any further, then I don't know, cause we've already thrown suspicion. I don't want to take like it too too far. You want to go for a home run, or do you want to just stay at second base? Well, don't put it like that. <laughs> 
my my thoughts on it is like he's already ahead at this point. Yeah. Edgeworth has no objections to what, to what this. Else have we not, so we, now we now we've thrown the idea out there. But if we press further, then it's potential for us to clear her up more with with other like pieces of evidence. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna press further just for curiosity's sake. Yeah. But in my honest opinion, I would I would have probably just stopped here. The very same reason that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions that day. Well, why would I do something so horrible to Miss for poor Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Just wait a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? That boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? No, that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten second tops! Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy was not the killer. What? How could you be so sure? Oh, is it so- Or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to the elders today, whippersnapper? I have proof. B uh, proof Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? I mean I don't know. <laughs> Key card. Oh! I thought you were gonna have to examine like the murder weapon, because like all oh, that thing no, is heavy. Because <laughs> it has uh, it has to be someone that has a card key, right? Yeah. The scene of the murder, as we all know, is Studio One. However, you need a car key in order to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a car key? I'm seeing more how like the suspicion is towards towards her now. Yeah. I just feel like it's weird. I I, I personally thought that you they would have they would have just brought the assistant in, but like yeah. I don't know. If she, if she if she has something to do later on in the case, then that makes more sense. Yeah, I think she does. I'm trying to remember most of this case. I know some of it, but... Yeah, because it, cause it just seems weird to me that she was, like, brought in and then just, like, doesn't have anything to do, but I guess she's, like, someone for later. Yeah. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Whew! The windbag, speechless. This is what... This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Oh, good. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness. Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> then the prosecution will look further into this fucking old bag before we continue. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. Look at that! We got time! Because we're gonna fucking eat it. Oh, wait a minute! This is not just gonna sit here and off barking up the wrong tree, me! I'm talking! Ah, oh, fuck. Everyone's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Stop the presses. The fucking windbag wants to talk. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Oh. Not to talk about? B by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? <laughs> w well, testify. Yeah, what the fuck are they... My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to be accusing me, I'm not going to let them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yep, got it, Chief. <laughs> so there could have been a shit ton of other weapons. Global Studios wanted me to keep my- <sighs> So you were told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and the big TV wings, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? I don't know, fucking... Don't be so hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people at the studio the day of the murder. Where the fuck are they now? 
Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer for stars. The director? We should we should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer around lunchtime when they had the meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. So studio 2? There was a Studio 2. Well, if you look at this glide map, there it is. You go through the gate all the way to the left. Oh, yeah, the tree's in the way. The path where the monkeys had it fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? Um, I think I already asked all my questions, but... I mean, is there one more test, one more part of it that we have to talk about? Or... Yeah. They said that I had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Olbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So they... What, tampering? <laughs> so you got your bonus and you still talked? Hmm, I think I asked all my questions I had to ask. Isn't there one more statement, or am I crazy? Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Oh, I, I guess that's everything, then. So, who were you told not to talk? When the Bingwing themselves? Why was I told about this? Okay. Run through all the- well, I think we pressed on everything, you just wanna, like, run through the thing? Yeah. <laughs> wow, she's talking real fast! Where are the Studio 2? Studio 2? Yep, guidebook, yep, there's Studio 2! Look at the monkey! <laughs> I guess that's everything. Your Honor, we have learned that there are other people at Global Studios in the day in question. The director and the producer and, um, some big wings were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that it is an impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldback, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Uh, bitch. <laughs> I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Bum. You did it. Damn, that was a long ass trial. What, three hours? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, hold on. Go through this whole thing, because then they'll be safe to be continued. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Grim. Oh, where should I? <laughs> oh, you smell good. <laughs> Don't smell it, Maya. Oh, we'll, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find more about the director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So, now my chance to get the material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who, who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Here do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get back to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yay! We did it! How do you feel about that trial? I know you got frustrated at some points. Oh, no, I, I think it was fine. I mean, the, the, the log, like, thinking about it more, the logic makes sense. Yeah. I, I'm kind of the person that, like, if there's potential for there to be a bad path and, like, I can kind of learn more information, then... It's not a bad thing for like I'll take the hit. Yeah. If I can learn more, and they, I mean they were right about their points, so it made it made sense. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty interesting. I don't know who done it. Yeah. Could be someone that we haven't been introduced to. Could be... Could actually be the windbag. Who knows? Um, I mean, I, it made sense of why they were like, well, we gotta pin someone. I feel like she... I mean, based on the evidence and all the shit that we know, like, she saw Powers get injured. She had access to everything. She yeah, literally she... could just take up, like erase photographic evidence and no one would know about it yeah so i mean makes sense yeah but i guess we'll have to figure out more about uh who, who could have done it in the next one yeah when we investigate in day two <laughs> yeah crazy that it's only been one day so far yeah or well i guess two days yeah day two was see like it says at the top day two trial yeah because the next day we did trial so investigation the next the, the day three we yeah did trial yeah <laughs> but Thanks for watching. Yep. Till next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. -bye.